Hi, this is David with Touchpoint Property Management. And in this video, I'd like to review with you the resident lease renewal procedures. So 70 days prior to your lease end date, a member of our team will reach out to you by email with your lease renewal options. 60 days prior to your lease end date, you must let us, our team know in writing if you plan on renewing your lease or terminating and moving out of the property. If you do accept the lease renewal offer, then a new lease will be emailed to you for signing online. Please make sure that you read the new lease agreement thoroughly as changes are made to the leases um, year after year. And we wanna make sure that you are fully aware of everything before signing so there's no surprises. Once the lease agreement is signed, you'll, you will be held accountable for all the terms and conditions on that lease. Um, you will also be required to submit an updated copy of your renter's insurance policy. Um, you also have an option to default to our renter's insurance policy, which is included in the resident benefit package that we provide to you. Um, if you happen to do the ins our insurance policy separate than the resident benefit package, um, it's $14 a month. Now, um, if lease renewal is not an option for you, then 60 to 70 days prior to your lease end date, our team will email you a detailed move out procedure guide, which will explain and document every step that must be taken to ensure a stress-free move out process. Um, we don't want you to miss any steps and then find that we have to withhold money from your security deposit. We never like to do that. So please review the resident move out guide and procedure document carefully. Thank you so much.